hello everyone welcome back to my channel in case you don't know my name is franca and the name of my channel is jama f and f tv welcome 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 please if you have not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscription button the red button below just hit it okay don't forget to like my videos and also don't forget to leave your comment below in the comment section so guys today we are going to be talking about business five ways to grow your business okay first we'll be talking about a uh, punctuality guys it is very very important to be punctual either you're working you're under a boss or you're a boss of your own even when you work online it is important that we are punctual we'll go to work or we'll start our business or whatever we do our source of income we started very early it's like we won't leave the house in the morning that we are going to work so it's very important that we are going punctual like we leave the house early to go to work or we we'll start our business either we're working from home or we own a shop or whatever we own a source of income it is very important that we stay we leave the house very early okay and two guys we are going to be talking about regularity so when we say regularity it means uh are you going to work often and often like do you attend to your business every day every time or do you just leave the business there let's take for example guys you own uh, a shop a supermarket or a boutique and you go there once every week and your neighbor that also owns a supermarket or a boutique go to her own or his own every day guys you see there'll be a very big difference you know why because this person is always going to the shop he's always there the person shows up at every time you it's good that your audience your customers people that will patronize you they see you all the time they see you open this shop or your boutique or they see you doing your business often and often from there it will grow this will buy from you and it will tell the other person he will tell the other person or she will tell the other person just like that i bought from this person the his product or our products they are nice understand but when in the case you when you don't go to your work or your you don't attend to your business regularly so you start losing patronage you start losing your customers and all of that so the number three points guys this is very important this is about approach guys this is about approach how well do you approach your your customers people you you render service to how well do you approach them guys how well do you approach them it's very important that we approach uh our customers people that patronize us either online or physically or however we are making our business is very very okay like it's very good to approach them normally let's say for example somebody came to your shop or your boutique to get something and after about a day or two the person come back and say oh i want to get something but i, I hope this one is fine because the other one i got it was not good when I got to my found out that it was bad, but all the same, I want to buy something else. I hope it's fine. So, guys, what are you going to say? By the time you have that kind of reports, are you going to say, ah, if you don't want to buy, please go. Me, I don't need you here. There are other people that will come. My dear, if you start asking each and every one to go, I bet they go, another person will come. You pursue James, you pursue John, you pursue uh, uh, Lorenza, you pursue Rita. How many people will follow you buy the products? You see? But by the time you give them good approach, okay, let's try this way. Uh, somebody just came and told you what they got the other time was not good, but they are yet to get something else. Why not say, oh, I'm very sorry, my dear. I'm really very sorry. I didn't know those products were expired or I didn't know it was not going to work for you. I'm sorry. Okay, well, how about uh, reducing the price of what you want to buy now in place of uh, saying thank you or in place of uh, saying I'm sorry? Don't you think the person will be happy? Yeah, the person wants to come back to you next time because that very day the person came, you approached the person perfectly. Your approach was okay. Your approach was fine. You understand? So that will make the person to come back. Okay? And guys, the number four 
point is cleanliness. Like they used to say, or like they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. Guys, let's say we have a shop and we just leave our house in the morning. We come to the shop. We just open the shop. We don't arrange it. We don't sweep. We don't even do anything. We just open the shop and we just sit down there and start selling things. There is a there, there are lots of possibilities that you are going to lose customers, guys. You lose customers. You understand? Because why? Maybe they want to buy something or they just feel like to sit a bit and there's no space for them to sit. Even if there's space, the place is so messed up. The place is smelling like, oh my God. The person will not want to sit. You understand? The person will not want to sit. The person will just like, oh my God, I'm not coming back here again because the place is dirty. But in a situation where we will arrange our shop, we leave a very small place like a park for the customers, a place where customers can sit and uh, maybe you, you, what you say is what they eat. You leave a place where they can sit and eat and that place is really nice. It's properly kept. It's not compulsory that it will be expensive, guys. Don't get it wrong. It's not compulsory that everything you used to build up the place or everything you used to kill the place will be expensive. No, but the most important thing is that the place is neat. You understand it the place is neat is 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 way uh, kept is so that your customers will be coming you understand guys so you have another customer so another person will tell another person and this other person will tell another person just like that okay so another another one guys the fifth one <laughs> the fifth one this guys is very very important guys this is really very very important this is uh let's say our home how do we treat our business and our home do you leave your business like do you just allow your business to be there do you allow everything to be there and you say oh my business is the most important thing you are always on that you don't come back home you don't do anything guys don't you think your business is going to fall Yes, it will fall down because by the time you take your business as your first priority, okay, you understand me, guys? By the time you take your business as your first priority, so this is what we are talking about now, the fifth one, the most important one of them all, your priority, priorities. So what is your priority? If you take your business as your first priority, guys, your business is going to crash, I know you'll be wondering how what can you say if you take my if I take my business as my priority my business will crash yes guys it's going to crash you know why <laughs> let's say for example you have a family you're a lady or you are a husband you're a man you have a husband sorry you are a woman sorry guys sorry for that you are a woman you have a husband and because you have a business you don't take care of your husband anymore you don't take care of your kids you don't have time for them you don't have your in, in fact you just think your business is everything everything around uh, everything that, that 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 you you have to do with is your business so guys what do you think what do you think guys your business is going to crash because your family will come knocking okay so in this situation what do we do we have to balance we have to balance the situation. I remember back in those days, there's something there in mathematics, the teacher would say balance equation. There's something we call balance equation. So we have to really keep it balanced, guys. You know how? Do not let your business be your first priority. Don't let your business be your primary consign. Let your business be your secondary cosign. Okay, guys? By the time you do this, always have time. There's something like what we get called strategy. You strategize it and you, you create this thing they call scale of preferences. You know what scale of preference? When you, you, you write up something like you have a list or a board or whatever you have to list up things you want, the most important things. 
and when and when to and when not to attend to these things okay let's say for example guys you left in the morning by 9 a.m or 8 a.m you left to your shop or to your business and by 9 p.m you are sit there oh my god that is not nice because if you are a lady, for example, if you are a lady, your husband needs to eat. Your kids need to eat. So if you don't go back home early, there will be problems in the house. You know, there's this, uh, this thing we really need to understand. We ladies, by the time, let's say your husband is a very gentle type. He, he, he supports you in everything you do. He's your best friend. Yeah, that's very nice. But then... We shouldn't take their support, the support of our darling husbands, our various husbands. We should be we shouldn't take it for granted. You know how? By the time he supports you and you feel, oh my god, my husband supports me a lot. So I think he can help me out with those things. Yes, he can help you, but he cannot continuously help you. Okay? You need to know that sometimes you need to leave the shop or your place of work or Whatever business, even if you do your business online, you need to leave it at least 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. and attend to your, your house, like attend to your home, attend to the chores in the house, attend to your husband, attend to your kids. What about men? Mm, men, you are also concerned. Yeah, men, you are concerned. Like, you have a wife, you have kids, okay? And you go to the work or to your shop or however business whatever business you are doing in the morning and you come back home 9 p.m 10 p.m at night like every day often and often guy what do you think man what did you think what do you think will happen man this is going to crash your uh your marriage yeah guy is really going to crash it you know why because your wife will be dying to get your attention you know, we women, we are very, very jealous. Sometimes your wife must start thinking the opposite. She must start thinking, oh, you are having an affair outside. That's why you don't attend to me anymore. So by the time we balance this equation, we'll take our business our second, as a, our secondary priority. I will take our various families, our various home as our first priority, guys. Things will move out for us. Things will work out because the family will be happy, guys. Yeah, and the business will continue to grow from strength to strength, from strength to strength. And before you know it, you are at the top of it. So, guys, I hope this video helped someone today. I hope somebody will just get something and pick something from all these things I've said today. Mm, some people might say, what's this, what this lady saying? She's saying rubbish. Yeah, it might be rubbish, but I just think and I hope somebody somewhere find it interesting and we just take one or two things from it. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. Okay, this is the end of the video for today. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Like I said before, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for coming back to check on me, to check on my video, to look at my video. I so appreciate you and I thank you all for supporting me. And I pray that God will support you. Guys, please stay blessed, stay calm and stay cool until we meet again next time. Bye.